Hi guys, welcome to this Visio tutorial. We're going to look at the timeline template today, so I'm just going to open a timeline. And there's my blank template, so I'm going to drag a cylindrical timeline and it lets me set the dates as soon as I let go. So 1st of April to the 30th of September, duration in months. Okay, from that book, that's okay. I always like to have a arrowhead at the end. This looks really good when you put this into PowerPoint. And then I'm going to bring on some milestone markers. Uh, I've got lots of different milestone markers here. Um, interval brackets, today marker, that's always a good thing to put on. I'll put a today marker on. And I'll put um, a couple of milestones. Let's try these ones. So if I put a milestone there, it gives me the option of giving it a title. So I'm just going to call this milestone phase one. Okay, I can position that a bit higher so it's not intruding, phase one. And then I'll do that again for phase two, phase two. And then I have um, a phase three. Okay, and then in between that, I'll use some um, curly bracket intervals. Um, start date to twenty six. So, uh, okay, I'll call that part. A. Now all of these milestone markers can be repositioned by selecting the icon, in this case the yellow icon, and just moving it to wherever you want that to be. So I could change the position of that by just pulling it across, likewise with that one. So if they're overlapping or intruding, you can maneuver them around. Now I want to put uh, an extended timeline on. This allows me to blow up part of my timeline, so it starts on the 9th, finishes on the 28th. Um, I'm going to make that a bit shorter than that actually, so I'll go to the 30th of April and start on the 1st of April. Click OK, and then that blows up from that time period, gives you a zoomed in look at things. Now, if I put a milestone marker on this part. I'll just call this test for, for a moment. It only appears on this expanded timeline, not on the main timeline. If I delete that and do the same again, this time do it on the main timeline, but I'll do it within that time period. I'll call it test again. Click OK. It appears on both the main timeline and the expanded timeline. And when I move these around, as you can see, it's affecting the other one. So that's the basic timeline, quite a simple process. And remember, it's just an overview of a project. It shouldn't have too much information on it, otherwise it becomes counterproductive. Um, if I got myself a second page, what I'm gonna do now is, is um, bring a timeline in from project, Microsoft project. So I'm clicking on timeline tab on the ribbon, import data, and then I have to select a project file. I've got a project file here, build wooden house, and then I follow the wizard through. So I do know that this project is quite cluttered. I, maybe I should go for milestones, but I'm gonna go for all the tasks just to show you how you can manipulate this a little bit. If I go next, I'll leave everything as default, next, and then finish. It brings the timeline in, and as you can see, this is quite tight in terms of um, these intervals overlapping. So I'm just going to try and maneuver some of these out of the way. Um, I might not be able to achieve this. There might just be too much data there altogether, but hopefully I can. It looks like... Um, some of these are going on at the same time, that's why it's like this. 
that. Okay, I seem to have achieved that one. This one, let's push this one over to the right a little bit. And then that one, push it into that space. Over here, we're quite cluttered. Take it down. Oops, moved the whole thing there accidentally. Undo that because I actually moved it. Take that down. And take this one down as well, I think. And take these ones into that space on the right. And this one to that space on the left. So now let's tidy up the labels. Again, you can right click and add your arrowhead. And there's the timeline from project. Now, if I go back onto page one, we can go the other way. Again, this time I'm going to export data. Click on the thing first, export data. Yes. And I want it as a project file, which it's there. I'm going to put it onto my desktop, leave it as drawing, save. And then it's exported into project. And then if I just go into project and try and open that file. There it is, straight from Visio into project. So you can send it from project to Visio or pull it from project into Visio and you can send it from Visio into project. Just close project down. That's the end of this little timeline tutorial on Microsoft Visio with a quick look at project. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe below and thank you for your time.